Valentine's Day, there's probably no better example of love and commitment than that of Scott and Johanna Watkins. In November, we brought you the couple's story and explained how Johanna Watkins is very sick, allergic to everything, including her husband, forcing her to live alone. And since that time, Scott has been building a new space for Johanna. Fox 9's Karen Scullin updates us on this unbelievable labor of love. It really is. It's just an amazing couple. But, you know, it has been a long, tiring year for second grade school teacher Scott Watkins. But the love he has for his wife is unwavering and seems to give him some sort of energy level that most of us can't even imagine. And it's paid off. His incredible labor of love is now complete. Like a bride being carried across the threshold. I love you with all of my heart. But the life of Johanna and Scott Watkins is no honeymoon. Get in there. I had a lot of experience walking away and leaving Johanna. It's hard, but it's not hard to leave because my just descent hurts her. So to stay would be to harm her. Scott and Johanna's moment together over in an instant. But to really understand why that is, we have to take you back to when we first met Scott and Joe. At that time, they were guests in someone else's home. She lived alone in the master bedroom, Scott on the lower level. Um, so we just done the best we can to, to seal a space within a home. The master was transformed into the safest situation possible for her. She didn't leave the space except for a few quick trips to the ER. Like most people, when their throat is closing in, they go to the ER. That's her normal everyday experience, so we don't go to the ER for that. We go in when it's completely closed. That safe space is necessary because Johanna is allergic to just about everything, including her own husband. It's been well over a year now since they've been together, hugged, or really touched. But as tragic as it is, their tale is a love story. It is my joy to be her husband, and I'm totally committed totally committed to her. About three years ago, shortly after Scott and Johanna were married, she was diagnosed with mast cell activation syndrome. Her condition so severe that she has not responded to medication. Mast cells release chemicals that act as messengers or mediators, telling other cells how to react to trauma, infection, or allergies. But Johanna's mediators are erratic, unpredictable, haywire. Her body's most common and dangerous reaction is anaphylaxis. She can't breathe. Because she reacts to just about everything, she has to live virtually isolated, making a safe space for her a matter of life or death. And Scott hopes that new safe space is here at their new, very own home in South Minneapolis. This is a, a chance for something new. We have a chance to control our environment in a way that we would never have dreamed of. And I think. Lord willing, that's the reality, I hope. Johanna even sending out a thank you to all those who were making it possible. I'm so grateful for this chance to live in a safe space and to hopefully have longer to find a medication that we're praying will hopefully lead to my healing. Johanna's new space has new paint, new furniture, newly refurbished floors, all of it heated to kill any sense as smells make Johanna very sick. Yeah, I think we let it pressurize and then we turn it off and try it again in a minute. But Scott has also made sure right, the room is pressurized like an airplane. And the air scrubber is right behind this foam. You can hear it. Most of her air very... will come from this pink room. So in here is nothing but the fan and a series of filters. So this large device pushes air up into her space, and then the air rushes back down, back into the system. It's a homemade positive pressure system that aims to keep her air scent free and allergen free. This is hopefully to make her feel better. We don't know, but that's the plan. Back up top to keep the room pressurized and scent free, an airlock. When you open the door to her space, you can feel the pressure drop a little bit. And I'm worried about that triggering Johanna. Mm -hmm. So the only way to do it is to build a, an airlock. But while Scott works on safety, Johanna's mother works on making it a home. There's her and her two brothers who will be taking care of her. She may not be able to leave her room here for seven, ten years. I hope not. I hope that's not the case. But it's important that this be not just a safe place for her, but a home. Johanna is also allergic to her parents. 
so her mother, Gail, hasn't held her daughter in over a year. They only see each other through FaceTime. Um, we've decorated it with all family photos because um, she can't see us. At least she can see us in her home. Us also includes Johanna's three siblings, believed to be the only three people in the world right now she isn't severely allergic to. I will tell you, as a parent, I've never been so proud of my kids as when they started to take care of their sister. Creating the safe space took over a year. When it was time for the final touches to the new home, Scott, friends, and family worked around the clock. Moving day was intense, emotions scattered. I close the door every single time we get stuff in. Until they can find a medication where, or Johanna goes into remission, even my husband and I, this will be the last. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I get it. <laughs> this will be the last time that I'm in her space. Well, I should say that. Hopefully, it's not the last time. <laughs> Just temporary. The move had to be quick. Johanna's safe space in the old home was pulled apart, and she was getting sicker by the minute. That's, that's heavy, so watch it. Out of the old and into the new, it was fast and tense. We don't know what will happen, but we just know we've done everything we can to do it right. And then Johanna. Too weak to walk on her own, Scott carried her, carefully placing her inside his car for the five minute ride to their new place. But he didn't get to hug her, kiss her, or say too much. They listened to the Three Musketeers song, a song that in the past had given them mad determination. It was like this intense, like kind of rough, rip roaring, like song. To get through some painful, difficult times. I love you with all of my heart. He handed her off to her siblings and left. Get in there. The wish that she suddenly get better was not granted. She passed out. To her, the bathroom pipe smells so bad she has to sleep away from it on the couch, and she's fighting to stay out of the emergency room. We know no matter what happens, it's going to be okay. I, I think we cling on to that hope. I'm looking forward to that day. But Scott does believe one day they will be together again. Until that time, though, both Scott and Johanna seem to find their own kind of happiness and a love that transcends every barrier life has put between them. And I made her a promise. I think a lot of times we forget that marriage is a, is a promise. It's the biggest promise you can ever make. I'm going to be here upstairs for now and doing whatever I can. As of tonight, Johanna remains very sick, too sick to even FaceTime or interview like she was able to do in November. Her husband and family are hopeful that she will adapt and improve in her new environment, but they believe it will just take a very long time. As you may have guessed, her disease is very complex. And if you'd like to learn more about the disease, you can check out my original story where I actually interview her doctor at the U of M, Dr. Mm -hmm. Afrin. That explains a lot. Mm -hmm. And you can also follow their story on CaringBridge and GoFundMe as well. I have to say, this story was most, mostly about Scott. He's amazing. Johanna is truly amazing, too, an amazing spirit. And she remains positive, unbelievably positive through this whole thing. Yeah, I just had this incredible, helpless feeling mm -hmm. watching that story. Oh, you know? just, you just want her to get well. Yeah. I just want her to get better. I can't but. imagine what they mm -hmm. go through. Mm -hmm. um, Boy, what a testament to uh, on a day like today. Yeah. Yeah. Start thinking about what really matters. Right? Hoping for a better up update the next time we profile something. So Thanks, Carrie. Thanks.